Well, I've had a lot of requests to ask how I download and store my stickers. So today, that's what I wanted to share with you. I also have to do a June plan with me because June's coming up fast. But I think I may end up splitting that into two videos uh, so they're not so long. Anyway, stay with me today and we will get some things done. everyone, I'm Crystal from A Crystal Clear Life, where we focus on planning, organizing, and living a more simplified life. If you're new here, welcome. And if not, welcome back. I'm so happy to see you. Uh, just a little backstory on me. I am a retired educator of 30 some plus years. <laughs> and uh, I just really uh, started this YouTube channel because I love OneNote and I love the simplicity that it adds to my life. And I love how organized it keeps me. And I just decided that since I didn't have students to teach anymore, uh, that I would start teaching others and hopefully uh, inspiring others to use OneNote to its fullest advantage to help keep your life organized uh, and on track. Today, while I'm filming, there is a thunderstorm warning, actually even a tornado watch. And so if I suddenly disappear, you'll know what happened. <laughs> well, uh, you'll know that I've run to the bathroom to uh, hide in the bathtub with all my kitty cats. Anyway, uh, hopefully the storm won't get here until after we get this finished. But I just wanted to give you a heads up. So in today's video, what I'd like to do is I'd like to share with you how I download the digital stickers that I use and how I store them and how I create a theme page for the month uh, that I'm going to use. Um, so let's jump into the computer and I will show you all of the things that are sticker related. Okay, as you can see here on my page, I am in Etsy, and one of the sticker uh, shops that I like to shop at is called Pretty Planner Place. And you see here on the screen, I have uh, four purchases actually that I made. And if you take a look at those, let me scroll down to the bottom. You can see here, this actually says March digital planning stickers. Well, I used mine in April. Nobody says that you can't use them for a different month. Uh, I used mine for April. And then this beautiful set here, uh, which is uh, a watercolor set that's all beautiful purples and rose colors. Um, I used that for the month of May. And can you guess what I might be using for June? Yes, I'm going to use this floral uh, sticker set here. And I also bought this uh, floral set here with the butterflies and rainbows just because I thought it was pretty. And for less than three dollars, how can you, you know, how can you not pick up these beautiful things? And I love all of the watercolor things. So when I was paper planning a few years ago, there is no way that I could buy a complete book of stickers that I could use indefinitely over and over again for less than $3. So this uh, digital sticker set uh, is the way to go for me. I absolutely love it. Saves paper, saves on the environment, uh, saves me money, and uh, it's a win-win-win situation. So if you are just thinking about getting into digital planning, know that there is a lot of cost savings because um, the stickers are much cheaper and like I said, you could use them over and over again. Okay. So I went on to the Etsy shop and I purchased these way back in March, as you can see up here at the top. And I paid $12 and 58 cents for all four sticker sets, which I don't think is a bad deal. It averages out to about $3 a book in my opinion. And then what happens is you get this email uh, that says that your purchase has been done. Then when you go back to Etsy, you can click here and look at your purchases. When you click here, your purchase screen comes up 
as I have here, and I can now go in and start to download these files. Okay, so I'm going to click on the uh, file that I want, and I'm going to say download the files. All right, when I do that, it comes up and says, well, which files would you like to download? So if I go over here to the set that I'm planning on using for June, um, there's a set with instructions. Now that PDF for instructions I have used over and over again, so I don't need to download that. And the next one is the Good Notes. If you're using the Good Notes app, uh, she has designed specific stickers. They're the same stickers, they're just in a different format for Good Notes. I happen to use the PNG stickers because I want them in just pure graphics form, okay? So what I do is I click this download button and it gets downloaded and it shows up in my download folder. Let me bring that up for you. And so you see here in my download folder, here are some of the recent stickers that I have uh, downloaded. There's the Brave Wings, that's the pretty one with the purple flowers and the butterflies. Floral Dreams is the one that I plan on using for June. And then uh, we have some other freebies and PDFs and things from other companies. But these are the two that I want to focus on today, okay? So what do I do next? Well, now that it's in my download folder, you see that it is in a zip format. Okay, that means everything is compressed, zipped up nice and tight. So it makes it smaller so that it can download when it's zipped like that. Now what we need to do is we need to expand or extract all of those little individual files and open them up so that we can see what's inside. The first thing that I wanted to do is I want to go over here uh, into my documents folder and I have a folder here labeled stickers and under stickers I want to create a new folder and I'm going to say a new folder and it's going to let me name that and because a lot of the um, a lot of the stickers that I've been purchasing lately are florals I'm going to call this one coral florals so that I can remember the colorways uh, in that particular set okay so now I have my coral florals uh, folder there, all right? In order to extract all the files, what I need to do is click on that, okay? Then I can right click and go down to extract all. And when I click on extract all, I will get a dialog box that looks like this. And it will say, where would you like to extract those files to? So I can come down here and I can choose, if I want to browse, I can go down to my documents here and I can go down to stickers and I can go down to coral florals and I can select that folder. Then when you come back here, you see that it is in documents under stickers under coral florals, all right? Now, show extracted files when completed. I want that checked so that I can see the pictures and know that they're there. And I'm going to click the extract button. Now you will see that it has uh, set up a file here for me called Coral Florals and we have all of our PNG files listed here. I like to go up here to view and I like to have extra large icons. It really helps me see things better. All right. So if I look in the PNGs uh, under um, calendar stickers, again, extra large icons. All right, I can see the dates, the days, and the month stickers. Each of these is an individual folder. There are the day numbers for this month. Here are the days of the week. And here are my month stickers, okay? Now, let's, let's see. If we go back to deco stickers, which are always my favorite. 
You see all of these pretty florals here, all right? Now, how do I get this from my documents uh, folder into OneNote to be able to use? Well, it's pretty easy. Let me show you. Uh, I'm gonna pick this pretty floral here and I'm going to check it. Actually, I can do more than one at a time, so let me show you that. I can check this and this and this. I will do the first four. I can right click on those. I can copy. Then I can go over into OneNote where I have already set up a page in my June notebook uh, section for uh, a June theme. What I like to do for each month is I like to take uh, a blank page and set up most of the stickers that I want to use throughout that month. So I already set up my June theme page here and what I need to do here is simply paste and you see there are the four stickers that we just copied, okay? Now, they are very large. They don't need to be that large for me to be able to see them, okay? So what I can do, and I like to use my lasso tool, is I can go through and lasso all of these things at the same time. All right, and you see that that, uh, let me make my screen smaller so you can see it. You see that that puts each individual graphic inside of a larger graphic box, all right? Then if I grab the corner of that larger graphic box, look what happens. Everything stays in scale and it makes everything much smaller. And I just think that is fantastic a quick and easy way to do that, okay? Now I have those graphics right there, and if I jump back over to my screen, I can now choose the next set. You can do as many as you would like. Let me uncheck these, uncheck this one. You can do as many as you like. You can go to the end and hold down your shift key, and that will choose all of them if you'd like. Again, we're going to copy go back to our OneNote page and paste. And there they are. If you can dream it, you can do it. Aren't these beautiful? I think they are lovely and they're gonna look great for the month of June. All right, so let's make these smaller. Using our lasso tool. right up there and there you go and then remember these are individual graphic files so as you need to you can move them around if you would like you can combine them together uh, let's say you want to take uh, this pretty leaf here and you want to put this on top of it you can bring it to the front Put it on top like so. Remember, you can rotate them. So you can rot it, rot you can rotate it if you'd like, and also add that behind if you want a little extra color or something there. Okay. Maybe something like that. And then maybe you want to include the month. I like to create a title for each. So let's go back and grab one of those. And I want the month of June. So I'm going to copy that. Take that back to OneNote. smaller there we go now what I like to do sometimes is again I've arranged all of these stickers in a way that you would in a regular sticker book layering and that kind of thing but I can circle all of these stickers that keeps everything together Wait, I forgot June's a little bit longer I can circle all of these stickers 
like so, and I can make a copy of those, and then I can come up here and I can paste, not as uh, keeping source formatting, because that will keep them as three individual, actually four individual stickers. If I go down here to paste as a picture, you will see that it put this all together as one graphic, okay, um, instead of the four individual graphics. All right, down here, I still have my four individual graphics. I have the month of June. There we go. I have that pretty flower there. I have that set of leaves and I have that set of berries. Okay, so I still have those individual things. I can just play around with them. And if I find something that I like, that I think that I want to use over and over, like this title, then I can click on that, paste it as a picture. And then when I go to uh, use that somewhere else on my June monthly pages or on my weekly pages, I already have that set. And it is pretty and looks good for the entire month. Okay, so to review, when you are buying things on Etsy, you download them and they come into your download folder. All right. Then from your download folder, you need to extract or open all of those up. And uh, when you open them up, you get to choose your file uh, location. I choose to put them in a sticker folder and I give each one a folder name that gives me some idea about what is in there. For example, in this one, coral florals. Then I extract all of my items there. Then I pick and choose and copy the ones that I like and take them into OneNote. That said, uh, you see that I have already started this page here for June and guess what's coming up next? <laughs> Absolutely. My June plan with me. So stick around for that video. I'm going to film it right after this one. So I'm going to look the same. Anyway, uh, this wind is picking up and hopefully the storm will not bother us filming. But I hope this has been helpful to know how I uh, download, store, and organize my stickers. Uh, not everything is stored in OneNote because... You know, I don't want to take up all of that space on OneDrive. And so I just create those uh, themes for each month that I want, that I know that I'm going to be using. Anyway, I hope that was helpful. I hope you found some inspiration. And I hope you'll check out Pretty Planner Place on Etsy because she really has some pretty stickers there. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. And here's hoping that you can live a more organized and simplified life through better planning. I use one now. Until next time. Okay. Bye. Why is it every time I start to film, you decide that's the time that you want to be rubbed and brushed and loved? <laughs>